going snorkeling. On that area, it's a little bit deeper there. You can kind of see the drop off. So we're gonna swim out here, go up and around these. Apparently there's a lot of fish over there. And over to this side. See how far I get. <laughs> I am a weak swimmer, snorkeler. But I do okay. She does fine. So we'll be taking you guys with us with the GoPro. We got ice cream. <laughs> it was well deserved. Hard, hard days of snorkeling. Yeah, struggles. <laughs> you can get it from the ferry. Rue has rejoined the pack. Little siesta time. Got his little canopy. Yeah. Dug out a little hole. Just chewing on some sticks. <laughs> We're in the shade. It's hot out here. It's very, very sunny. What are you doing, buddy? You got this little area. You've got a VHF in here. Post the weather in here. Tide chart. There's where we're diving today. There. We'll swim all the way around to that coal dock. That's all the diving and circling we're going to be doing today. Right there is where we are headed tomorrow. Coral Reef, Little Africa. We're gonna dinghy right on over there. I'll show you how far of a ride that's gonna be. So currently we are anchored right here. So we're gonna take the dinghy out. All the way up and over. That is about a seven mile round trip in the dinghy. Should be fun. Doing it on a day where there shouldn't be too much current or wind. It's looking like Wednesday. Tomorrow, and right up here is the anchorage. Lucy is hiding. Let's see her mask right there. Hey, 
bum. The bum. Another beautiful sunset. Today's the day. We're going to Loggerhead Key. And we're gonna go snorkel and free dive on a shipwreck. So pretty excited. It's supposed to be pretty awesome. Not coming. We're staying protected today. Cause yesterday our backs got a little burnt. Yours, yes. not mine. Even though I put Yours. sunscreen on, we were in the water and it just... Roasted. <laughs> All right, so we're making the, it's like an eight mile round trip with the port boat and the Torquedo. And we're gonna be exploring Little Africa, which is a coral reef out there. And then we're also gonna be checking out the Windjammer wreck. So, we'll talk to you once we're on the dinghy. It'll take us about an hour to get there and an hour to get back. Nice and slow. Good thing we're in no rush today. We're in the thick of it now. No turning back. Funny thing is, we had two guys that were anchored right next to us, and the one has a 25 horsepower gas outboard. And he didn't even want to do this. He was like, oh, I don't know if I would do it. It's, it's a far dinghy ride. I don't trust it. Here we are with our whopping one and a half horsepower electric motor, and we're slogging right along. Portuguese man or is that what that is? I have no clue. That looks so crazy. Yeah. be pounded on the shore. <laughs> this water is. Don't want to lose the dinghy this time. We brought it up to shore. No fear of losing the dinghy. You tie it directly to the dinghy sign. So that is where we came from. Way off in the distance there. We are on island. Heading up towards the beach. Yep, beach. We just got done snorkeling Little Africa and it was amazing. The colors were so vibrant. There was a million barracuda that- There were so many barracuda. Freaked me out. They'd pop out of nowhere and they just kind of stare at you. Yeah. 
That was the first coral reef either of us have ever dove. Yeah, that was in a, that was amazing. There was a ton of fish, and I think we saw a grouper, but we definitely still have to see a goliath grouper. It is on our list of things that we need to see on this trip, and that's the last thing that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, that and the, the shipwreck over here. Yep. That's it. Then we have accomplished everything. It has only taken us five days. <laughs> We originally planned on staying here for like 12 to 24 hours yeah. in order to make our jump to Cuba. And uh, we're on day nine of us being in Cuba right now and we're still here. Yeah, there's a so, lot to see here. Yeah, there, there's a ton to see here. This is like right up our alley. This is what we like, yeah. like completely surrounded by water, no cell service. That's why we did the national park trip. Completely isolated and just a million things to see. It's incredible here. Yeah, so who knows what we're gonna do with Cuba. We're definitely not making the jump from here to Cuba, so we're gonna head back to Key West and then kinda go through some things there because there's a whole slew of other things going on. We gotta re-up our insurance. Our registration expires in like four days. That's why we had to get that window in for Cuba. So, yeah. It expires on your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I turn 27 soon. So, yep. anyhow, we'll talk more on that in a later episode. For now, we're gonna go try to find a Goliath grouper. That's the mission Goliath grouper and at least a hundred year old shipwreck. Yeah. And we'll give you a little bit of history of this island. There's a cool story about a dog. Yeah. Doggy. <laughs> All right. Let's go. So, here lies more Coast Guard history. <laughs> Seaman apprentice William Graves. He was a crewman on Coast Guard Cutter construction tender, actually, Anvil. He lost his life while completing construction of this pier. There is no pier out here, so. Oh, maybe oh, that pier. Yeah. Over there. Lost his life while he was working on that pier. Work was of the sea, and he died on her beaches just before sunset. He was 20 years old. He's a seaman apprentice, so he's like just graduated boot camp. He is not the oldest living thing to be buried here, though. That would be his dog, Wally. Wally was a friend to all. That's an old dog. 22 years old. Apparently, he would bark every time someone landed on the beaches over here, and he would go and greet them, and he was like friends with all of them. This is what the, the keeper was telling us. About 22 years. That's an old dog, 1968 to 1990. He lived here. <laughs> I'm on a river, the wine's on for real. Follow till I get where I'm going. Maybe I'm heading to die, but I'm still gonna try. I guess I'm going.